If you are a new YouTube creator, I can probably guarantee you that you're making a pretty big mistake on YouTube. This is Jet Jurgensmeyer, and he is a television actor, movie actor, musician, and uh, he's gonna tell you guys what it is. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer. Welcome to Video Creators. This is Jet Jurgensmeyer. Hey. We are all about helping you guys grow your YouTube audience so you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their lives. And these people are getting started on YouTube. Yes, You're kind of getting started on YouTube yourself. Tell us a little bit about your channel. Well, I started out acting when I was four on TV, movies. Now I do a lot of voiceover in movies and I'm getting more into my YouTube and on my channel, you'll find me doing mostly cover songs, but I've come out with a few originals. A big mistake a lot of creators make getting started is they come to YouTube creating a channel based on the based on what they know which is television and so they come to YouTube you guys you, you come and you start growing a channel based on what you're familiar with on television but, it, but television type of stuff doesn't always it, usually does not work on YouTube because exactly. they have very different goals different viewing experiences and things so what have you found to be some of like the big key differences between what works on television and what works on YouTube as someone who's doing both well 95% of the stuff that you see on TV is going to be scripted. Unless it's an interview, it's going to be scripted. And I know that firsthand. So coming over to YouTube, you want to be more relaxed and really show yourself. And I think that's a mistake that a lot of new YouTubers make is really trying to oversell it. I think that's a big mistake that a lot of people make and it's a really simple fix. Just yeah. be yourself and don't be afraid of the camera. That's really important, guys. Like one of the ways that like I think about it is like on, on traditional media, like you get on television and you're performing, you're acting. Yes, sir. And but on YouTube, like you're yourself, and it's the difference between having a conversation, like on social media, or doing a presentation, like you would be doing if you were on, on television. Yeah. And so it's easy to come to YouTube and be like, "Hey guys, look at me! I'm awesome! And you should know all about my day because I have a really awesome vlog or game or whatever coming up today." Blah, blah. And people are like, "Whoa." What's going on? Chill out. A lot of people don't realize that people watch television for different reasons than they watch YouTube as well. And that makes a big difference of how we present. What are some of like, the differences in the benefit that people are looking for that you notice between television and YouTube? Well, on television, people are expecting to see your character and they support that character entirely. But on YouTube, I feel like it's a better place to promote what you believe in and goals that you want to have. And I think it's easier to kind of create a family around you and I feel like your viewers really will enjoy being able to say I'm part of their family, I'm part of his group, I'm part of her group and I feel like they'll really be able to enjoy it a lot more when they can push what you believe in as well as opposed to pushing what a character believes in. Yeah. Really important distinction, guys, to think of like what you're doing on YouTube is we call it an audience, mm -hmm. but it's also called an audience of television, right? What do you yes, what do you sir. call it? In we TV call it, we call it an audience. Audience, okay. So like, because you're performing, you're like basically on a stage, so to yes, speak. Sir. But on YouTube, we still call it an audience, but what it really is is a community. It's a community. Like, it's a family. Yeah. So there's like, there's like. On television, you don't expect to have any interaction with this guy, right? He's on, he's up, on, you're never gonna meet him, never gonna talk, well hopefully you do, but. <clears throat> I'm reading my lines. Right, but on social media, it's like there's this expectation that there's a connection, that we can actually talk and get to know each other, and if I leave a comment, that you're gonna reply. And so you gotta really think about what you're doing on YouTube in terms of a, as a community, and not just an audience where you're a monkey on a stage doing a gig and then afterwards like the audience goes away. Exactly. You know? That's actually another thing how you're saying reply to your comments. That's something that I found very useful is going down your comments and liking the comments and really engaging with your audience and I feel like you can learn more about them by talking to them and like I said it's all becoming part of a family and I feel like they'll engage with you more if you yeah. reply to them. So it's kind of like, instead of saying on television, like, this is my story, why don't you exactly. passively observe and watch? On YouTube, exactly. we're saying, this is my story, and I want you to be, a, I'm inviting you to be a part of it. And in some cases, we're actually even saying, this is our story, our story that we're experiencing together. And then that's when you can really mobilize your audience to do a lot of good in the world. Kind of like joining the movement. That's right. Or his channel is called the... Jetpack. Jetpack. Join the Jetpack. I love that name. This thing's it's pretty jet. cool. Get it? Jetpack? Get it? J-E-T, pack. Clever, I like it, Thank it's you. good. Thank you. So in your channel, what are some things that you do to keep that human element really authentic there so people connect with you? Well, one thing that I 
I really want to show is it's all me. I'm playing my guitar, I'm doing the singing, nothing is added afterwards. It's all real and it's all natural. And I feel like that's how I'm able to show my audience, my viewers, me, and how I'm able to really connect with them and show them that I'm, I'm not acting, I'm not, this isn't scripted, this is all real. So like what Jed is doing over his channels, it's not just like, hey, watch me guys, I'm awesome, which is like what a lot of creators do, because that's what television is. Mm -hmm. Instead, you're saying like, hey guys, join this and become a part of this with me. You're saying like, exactly. our mission is to make people smile, and you're growing a community of jetpacks, of people, you're growing the jetpack community. Exactly, yes of sir. Of people who are like, yeah, we want to make people smile at that mission. So very, a lot of subtle differences, but very distinct and very important. If you guys want to check out Jet and what he's doing on YouTube, where would they go? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> if you guys want to check out Jet and what he's doing on YouTube, where, what would they, where would they go? Just search Jet Jorgensmeyer. That is Jet with one T and good luck on the last name. It's hard enough. <laughs> There's a link to it down below, and you guys can check him out. Uh, there's IMDb down there too, if you want to support him in any of the shows and television stuff he's doing. So really important for you guys to think about the differences between television and YouTube, and do a strategy that's centric for YouTube more so than for television. They're very different platforms that perform very differently. If you're really serious about wanting to take this to the next level and do content that's natural for YouTube, click the playlist you see on your screen right now. It's a short one that'll just really teach you more about storytelling and how to craft content that people will really love and get into. So go check that out and I'll see you guys over in the next video and check him out down below. Thank you. <laughs>